Hi all, hope you're having a blessed day today. Tonight we're continuing our countdown of the top 100 Christian films of all time with number 74, Francis of Assisi, released in 1961. And as you may have guessed, this is a story about uh, St. Francis. This movie stars Bradford Dillman as Francis, and Bradford is known for such films as Escape from the Planet of the Apes, where he played a kindly doctor who was trying to help um, Cornelius and his wife, uh, Zira. Um, he also played the, the police captain in two Dirty Harry movies, The Enforcer and... Um, uh, I forgot the other one, but <laughs> it was the enforcer and another one. And uh, he also starred in the original version of Piranha. Um, it also stars Dolores Hart. Now, here's something really unusual. Dolores was a rising star in the 60s. She had played in a few Elvis films, uh, most notably King Kareel. <clears throat> which, by the way, is my favorite Elvis film. Um, <laughs> and uh, she starred in this film and was on her way to a big, su a successful career when she decided to leave Hollywood and become a nun. Much like her character in this film, who was a lady of wealth and, you know, St. Francis uh, you know, made such an impression on her that she uh, decided to leave her life behind and become a nun. Who, the, who says that life doesn't imitate art, right? Also, the film stars Stuart Whitman. Now, Stuart Whitman uh, was around for a really long time. He uh, um, He's done a lot of films, and one that comes to mind, I, I know it, it's probably a little-known horror film in the 70s called Night of the Lupus. Um, and uh, actually, Janet Lee was in that movie, too. So, But he plays Count Palo, which is, he's a, he's a good friend of, of St. Francis. Um, so, and I forgot to mention that Dolores Hart plays Claire, who, um, like I said, was a wealthy woman who was taken by St. Francis's uh, uh, ministry at that time. So... Again, the movie's about the life of St. Francis and how he started out the son of a, a wealthy uh, businessman in a sissy. And instead of taking over the family business, he turned his back on everything that he held dear and decided to dedicate himself to God, uh, giving up everything, his home, um, his wealth, uh, just so he could serve God. Uh, he even gave up a woman, Claire, in this case, uh, that was going to be or could have been his wife. So uh, at first, he's met with much difficulty um, in trying to get his ministry established because people actually don't believe him. You know, is he trying to get attention? Who knows what he's doing? But eventually... His selfless deeds uh, make him a target from the Catholic Church, who at first want to shut him down, but then realize that what he's doing is absolutely what God wants him to do. And at, like I said before, it inspires Claire to enter in the nunhood. I liked this movie. I thought it was really well done. I, I liked it. Uh, it was a good movie. Um, a little long, but, you know, I think anybody who's interested in St. Francis's story and watching a really good Christian film, you have it right here. Um, so that's um, number 74, St. Francis of Assisi, uh, Francis of Assisi, I'm sorry, <laughs> released in 1961. Well, thank you for joining me this evening. Thank you for watching my videos and supporting my channel. And we'll be back tomorrow with number 73. God bless you all.